2020 it has been one hell of a year and in this chaotic year one thing that saw a big rise in the amount of people who started reading books a lot of people started started reading books now in this video i am going to be telling you the three books three best books that i read in 2020 now before we do that before i get into it comment below what was your best book that you read and what was your take away from the book you can drop in the comments and feel free to comment regardless of whether it is fiction or non fiction but give your takeaways okay with that said let's begin so the first book the one of the best books that i read in 2020 is death by sadguru well this book dives deep into what happens after death what is death what really goes on and i'll tell you what it's a lot deeper than a lot of his books it's a lot deeper than his talks or his videos that you see online and this book is a different experience i'll tell you why after finishing this book you are going to end up feeling like you watched a very very deep movie that's the best way to explain it it's one hell of an experience that you must have and even sadguru when he writes in his book that you know it's not a book that you uh, read slowly it's something you read it once you finish it and then you just let it in your mind and slowly digest it over time so this book is something that i definitely recommend because it's a book that will change your view on what death is it'll take your fear it'll decrease your fear of death it'll actually help you embrace it and there are psychological benefits to accepting death it'll actually make you feel a lot more free a lot more relaxed and a lot more uh, focused towards achieving your goals the second best book that i read in 2020 is the loss of power by robert greene now this book is not for those people who are very bound by moral values so am i telling that is this is this is for people this is for immoral people no what i'm telling is in the book loss of power robert greene divi uh, breaks down what are 48 things that people who are in very high power position positions do and i'll tell you what some of it is good some of it is not very good some of it is very sneaky and if you uh, if you read this it's similar to something that chanakya has written or Ma- machiavelli has written it's a very very sneaky very very cunning kind of laws and principles there now you can use it for good or you can use it for bad it's not good or bad but in general if you believe that whole world is good everything is positive everybody loves you everybody loves everything everything is just good everything is just all right and this book is not for you however if you're someone who wants to understand what people in power do with real life examples with something that you can apply with something that you have to look out for then this is a book that you must get 48 laws that will tell you how to get in a position of power and what do you need to do in order to stay in that position of power third amazing book that i read is called strategies of excellence by robert dilts this book is not a very popular book as of now but this was written a long back but this is wow this is such a good book it's something that i highly highly recommend in fact this is something that i highly recommend even highly recommend than the other two books that i spoke about so what is the strategies of excellence strategies of excellence is a book where robert dilts the author looks at all the genius we have had throughout the history some of the greatest geniuses some of them include walt disney sherlock holmes sherlock holmes fictional yes but you will know why this is important aristotle uh albert einstein and many many such genius now here's the amazing thing about it he breaks that whatever they're good at whatever the specialization is he breaks it down into a strategy that we all can implement and use so this kind of comes from a concept in nlp called strategies where you take what someone is doing make it into a structure that you can then get another person to implement and get same or similar results for example if you don't still don't get what i'm saying for example when he analyzed walt disney 
by asking his employees questions by looking at his stories his videos and whatever he has done he realized one thing that what disney to be his to have his creativity he did three things he thought from three point of view first one as that creative person without any bounds where anything is possible the next position he took for the same idea was a realist a realist is where he took this idea of creativity creative ideas and he tried bringing that into reality and the third uh, the third point of view that he looked at from was a critic he looked at these ideas from the realist and the creative and started critiquing it on why it could work or why it couldn't work and taking some ideas looking at those ideas from three point of view made him a lot more smarter it's really really amazing the creativity that it unlocks in you is amazing so just like that he actually gives you implementable steps that you can do to get similar results so this is something that i highly highly suggest it comes in three volumes so for any books that that is mentioned in this video you can click the link in the description to get this book with that said before we go let me know in the comments have you ever read these books any of these books if so yes if not are you curious are you interested in this with that said we are making book idea series if you have been on our channel you would know that we take ideas from interesting books interesting ideas from interesting books and we give it to you so remember to hit that subscribe button so that uh, you would, you can get notified when these kind of videos comes out with that said thank you so much for watching this is abhishek signing off goodbye